so we have now completed the implementation phase in the flow and the next step in the flow is to generate the programming file or the bit file to generate the programming file let us go back to the xilinx tool and double click on this step called generate programming file once the programming file is generated it will indicate one green tick mark and it will generate the dot bit file we can go to the project directory and see that the dot bit file has been really created this is the project directory and we can see that musical led top dot bit file has been created and the file size is about 1.4 MB the name of the bit file will be same as the top level Verilog file in fact it will be same as the top level Verilog module name now this bit file can be programmed into Xilinx FPGA using the Xilinx programming cable in the Mission 10 Unified Learning Kit we have the option of programming through the Xilinx cable but since that needs the separate special Xilinx JTAG cable we have provide, provided another option of downloading the code using the Ethernet cable using U ULK control panel for that purpose we cannot use this bit file we need to convert this bit file to another format known as Xilinx serial vector format or XSVF format to convert this bit file into XSVF we need to go to the next step where we'll go to this configure target device it will open the tool known as impact this is the tool used for programming the Xilinx FPGAs in this impact menu on the right side on the left side double click on the boundary scan icon and right click and select the menu add Xilinx device and select the bit file which was created in the previous step once you select it will show you an icon of FPGA where the musical LED top dot bit is shown to create the XSBA file go to the output menu and select XSBA file create XSBA file here we need to provide the name of the XSBA file let us give a name like musical underscore LED save it will give one warning you can click OK in that window and now we need to right click on that Xilinx FPG icon and select program click OK it says program succeeded actually in this step it has not yet programmed the actual FPG it has just created the XSV file which will be used by the control panel to program the FPGA we can see that the XSV file has been really created by going to the directory where we had created the project we can see musical underscore LED dot XSV file has been created the file size is 1.4 MB in the next step we will be using this XSV file to program the FPGA in ULK using ULK control panel to download the code using ULK control panel 
click on the ULK control panel icon and select ULK count as one. Also make sure that you make the changes related to the IP address setting of ETH0 by giving this command sudo ifconfig eth0 192.168.2 dot anything above 80 and then up now select ULK count as 1 and click on list ULK it will show 1 ULK and click on connect it will say connection established once the ULK is connected. Now we are ready to download the code to ULK. Click on the load icon and go to the FPGA tab. In the FPGA tab, select the XSBA file which was created in the previous step. Musical LED dot XSVF. Click on the load icon. Okay. Now it will start downloading the code to the ULK. Once the code download is done, it will say file successfully sent to stub client. At this point, it has just downloaded it to the RAM in the ULK. It has not yet started executing the code. To execute the code, we need to click on run, go to FPGA tab and click on execute so that it will start downloading the code to the FPGA. Once you click on OK, you can see that the done LED in the ULK kit, which is D28, it will go low. And once the APJ program is done, the done LED U28. D28 will glow and it will give a message like FPGA programming success. Since this code which we downloaded is a musical LED code where the LEDs in the ULK kit D27 to D20 will blink in a particular sequence. You can verify the operation of the code by looking at the sequence of the LEDs. You can also try the 7 segment LEDs by pressing the SW8 switch. Once you press the SW8 switch, the 7 segment displays will start incrementing. It has been implemented as an up down counter which can be incremented using the SW8 switch and the SW7 switch can be used to decrement the counter SW6 switch will hold the count and if you press SW5 push button switch then it will reset the count that way we can verify the functionality of the code completes our tutorial on how to compile and download a Verilog code into the FPGA in Miss Antenix Unified Learning Kit. Thank you for your time.